Hey guys, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor with Dynamic Worldwide Training, and uh, I uh, record these videos uh, usually for the people who take my class. And I know I've been gone for a while. I just had some personal stuff, family stuff going on that's taken my attention. Uh, and I usually do not do requests for people who just randomly watch my YouTube channel. I don't do this for profit. I just kind of do it to supplement my my course materials. And uh, I'm actually way behind on my videos, but uh, there was a person who caught my eye. So John Ray, right? Uh, he is trying to set up an SD-WAN demo for a thesis paper that he's doing for school. And uh, as an instructor, you know what, guys? I have such a weak, weak spot for people that are, are trying to accomplish something with academia. So, <laughs> you know, it's what I do. Anyway, so uh, yeah, John Ray, I am going to step you through the entire process, okay, of making an SD-WAN demo using the Fortinet VM that you say that you have, all right? Um, and I'm going to try to keep these short and broken up so you don't have to go scour through a whole bunch of videos, uh, you know, or one huge long video to get it working. All right, bud? So, and also, the big challenge that John Ray is facing is uh, he has limited resources, so he can't just throw a bunch of of uh, uh, virtual machines, you know, up and running. He has to keep everything as as small of a utilization footprint as possible. Challenge accepted, my friend. Let's do it. So I'm going to make a couple of assumptions here. One, you already told me that you have GNS3 up and loaded with the VM, all right? And that's the exact topology that I have right here. Okay, I'm running 2.1, and one of the biggest reasons why I haven't continued my videos, guys, is that I try to upgrade for, to 2.2, two, and <laughs> it didn't work. I ended up breaking it and having to roll back, and I was able to keep my VM, but I wasn't able to keep my, my project. So anyways, long story short, I'm assuming that you have it set up to this point, and I'm assuming that you, you said that you already have the VM of the GNS three and the FortiGate six zero and that you're able to get to the GUI and that was about it. So um, let's just start this video very basic. All right. And that's going to be just kind of setting up a FortiGate, a PC to view the FortiGate's GUI, and then we'll we'll end it there. Okay. So uh, for starters, let's go ahead and use our pencil here. All right. And we're going to write something like uh uh, SD WAN demo, right? Thesis, you know, proof, prof, proof of concepts, or something like that, right? So, um, sure. And I'm I'm literally showing everything here, guys, just because I want John Ray to be able to to duplicate it one on one. All right, so. There we go. Boom. If you have to give the presentation in class or something like that, make it nice and big. Okay. Uh, so you said you already have the FortiGates. So we'll leave the basic utilization there. So one gig of RAM, one core. Okay. Um, it's not too, too bad. So here we go. Uh, 600 you said you had. Okay. And I'll actually show you down the road how to get the the icons in there, bud. All right, just not in this video, okay? And then for your switches, we're gonna use the the baked-in flavor of the Ethernet switch that comes with GNS3. You really don't need a big one here to make it work, okay, bud? So um, usually, you know, I'll do an open V switch if I have a lot of stuff going on in the same broadcast domain, just because it's been my personal experience. These have kind of crapped out on me if there's too much load but not if we're doing basic testing um of maybe a ping loop or something like that it shouldn't be too bad and i normally just to keep things to keep things clear i'll rename the switches to the subnet that i'm going to assign them to and the subnets i'm going to use obviously you don't have to use okay uh, but i'm going to just use my my ones that i usually use in class so I'll say that's 10.0.1.0, okay? And on the FortiGate, I'll just say something like, um, I don't know, uh, FortiGate HQ, oops, DQ, Dairy Queen, <laughs> DQ headquarters, okay? So there we go. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in 
to port 5, all right? And the reason why I'm doing port 5 is because, yeah, we're going to have four WAN ports. What? Yeah, it's going to be cool, man. I promise. All right, so we're going to say port 5. We'll plug it into the Ethernet switch. Now, for your PC, okay, I suggest that you use the web term, and I'm pretty sure that that web term is a... Um, is that a is that a docker here it is web term let me see you might have to download no it's a docker yeah so it should download automatically and install the appliance for you okay bud so there you go and give it a second and it should it should magically appear here um, there it is geez it took forever anyways this should be all you need for your PC side this will give you just enough to ping and just enough to do the GUI, all right? And it's not like you have to run a Windows machine. It's not like you have to run a full Ubuntu distribution. Just go ahead and call this something like PC1, okay? And before you fired it on, because I'm assuming you're doing this for class, go ahead and hit configure, all right? Go to the edit right here and put it on the same subnet as your FortiGate's LAN. All right, so we'll take out the pound signs here, okay? And then the gateway is the IP address that we're going to assign to the FortiGate, which is going to be 10, uh, 0, 1, 2, 5, 4. All right, we'll leave it a slash 24, and we'll give this guy a 10.0.1.10. Uh, All right, and then so we can do DNS, we'll just do a little, little borrow Google's. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to hit save. All right. And then for me, just to keep the <laughs> keep the illusion alive, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to change the symbol. And I'm just going to give it a, I don't know. I'm just going to use like a desktop. All right. Just so it looks kind of nice. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll plug this into the uh, switch. All right. And then let's just go ahead and fire them up. So the FortiGate might take a second to boot, okay? Uh, starting with 6.0, it does some formatting of the uh, log file hard drive for you automatically. The older versions used to not do that for you. Um, but uh, yeah, it should post just fine. And if you're running on limited resources, I would definitely let this thing just kind of sit there for a little bit and get everything up, loaded, and working. So. Uh, before you go ahead and you start doing much more. So in the meantime, though, we can come over here to the PC1 to kind of see what's going on. Now, remember, this is the web term box. And as you can see, it's it's ready. I mean, there's, there's Mozilla Firefox. You can also come in here and grab a, a terminal window if you need to. Right? That'll give you ping access. Okay? And if we do a ifconfig you'll see that it has the 10.0.1.10 on it right there, okay? So we're in good shape there, all right? Now all we have to do is, is we'll wait for this to boot. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put it on pause until we get a, until we get a screen, so. All right, bud, there we go. And I'm just gonna take a moment here. I'm gonna uh, go to my, um, where are my settings? New session, change settings, there we go. Just so you can see it a little better. I'm gonna change the appearance here. Make the resolution a little higher. There we are. All right, bud, so uh, you should be ready to rock and roll once you get to this point, okay? So we're gonna do an admin, all right? No password to get into the FortiGate. And then we're gonna do a config, right? System interface, okay? And then after that, we're going to edit the port five. And then we're going to say set IP to 10.0.1.254 with a slash 24. And then a set allow access to ping, so we can ping the interface, HTTP, HTTPS, all right, Telnet, and SSH. And normally, we wouldn't have the insecure protocols, but because they are the free VMs, all right, I'm just putting them on there in case there's some weird problems that we have with the cryptos so to keep the vms for being used in production right uh, the trial ones have very low cryptographies but for proof of concept or for practice 
in a lab environment, it should be fine, okay? So then we'll do an end to commit, and then we're going to test it by executing ping and pinging that web term box that I'll just refer to as, as PC1, all right? As you can see, we have that connectivity, okay? So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go back to our PC1. All right, and now we should be able to access the GUI of the FortiGate. So here we are. Let's come up here to 10, 0, 1, 2, 5, 4, and there we are. So we'll do admin, no password, okay? It will bark at you until you give it a password, my friend. So I suggest just using something like password, all right? Once again, it's a lab environment, something easy that you won't forget. You don't need to do security best practices just to show a demo, all right? There we are, so we're we're in, all right? So um, I know this video is a little bit long already because of my ramblings, but let's clean this bad boy up before we end, okay? So uh, we already have the default gateway, but uh, real quickly, let's go into our system settings, all right, and change the host name, all right? So here we go. We're going to change that to FortiGate HQ. Also, I suggest that you put it on the same time where you're at, all right? And also, because you're going to be demoing this, I suggest you do the idle timeout to the full max. That way you don't have to keep on logging back in. Now, normally you wouldn't do that, okay? Then we'll hit apply, all right? And we should be good to go there, all right? Let's just go ahead and take a look at our network interfaces real quickly, okay? And as you can see, we have these four ports ready for action here pretty soon, but I'm just gonna double click into port five super quickly and Call it land. There we go. All right. So we're going to hit OK. And believe it or not, my friend, that that is it. So um, now here's the thing, because you are going to be playing around with this, getting it to work and tweaking it. I highly suggest that you start taking snapshots of the configuration as you make your progress. That way, if you screw something up while you're trying to, to, to tweak this, you can roll back real quickly. So let's do that, then we'll, we'll call it a day, okay? Call it a day. We'll call it a video. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so I'm just going to come up here to my admin account, configure revisions, and I'm literally just going to call this new revision. All right, um, initial config and maybe LAN ports or something like that. All right, there you go. Okay, so, all right. So I'll go ahead and end it there. In our next video, we'll go ahead and build the WAN side. Okay, so I'll see you in just a few minutes.